tend to keep my spiritual energy on the down low. Because if I let that stuff stay active all the time, it sort of attracts a lot of negative spirits to me and my friends. Wait, how do you do that? Uh, personal sealing. I put uh, ceilings, I put seals on myself to help that I can activate just in case how? something does happen. Like, do, do, do you put markings on you? Like what? They're not like tattoos, but it's, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but, um... Do you have I, like a spray? Jewelry? Like, what is it? No, it's actually like, I draw out a symbol on my skin with my fingers using spiritual... Oh. Spiritual energy to make the imprint. Oh, that's cool. I never heard of- I never saw that before. That's cool. It's mostly because it's something my dad did to me when I was younger, when I first started discovering uh, spiritual- my own spiritual activity. D do you have a spiritual family? Is that it? Like, that's- my that's so mom, cool. My mom had presence awareness and clairvoyance. Okay. Like, naturally, like, like, she could feel spirits, and she had premonition dreams on multiple times, times, and she actually prevented a few events from happening with it. Oh, I can be too. Yeah, that's called clairvoyance. My mom, while we were traveling from Arizona to I think Kansas- if I did some spiritual shit, my chakra would be just full on chaos. You are a chaotic person in nature, so yeah, I believe that. But, um, um, interesting thing though, my mom, one time, she had a bad premonition of the stuff. Uh, we were carrying a car on a trailer, and she told my grandpa, check the trailer, check the trailer as we were moving from Arizona to Kansas. And my grandpa was just like, nah, we don't need to check the trailer until we actually got to a truck stop. He finally went like, okay, I'll check the trailer. It was only held up by one chain. And his eyes went white as a ghost, according to my dad. Because that's bad when you're traveling on roads at high speeds. Oh, wow. We m might have caused a massive car wreck on the highway if we kept going. Um, my dad could hear spirits. He was a median, he was a median of the ears. He could actually hear them. And they wouldn't shut up around him. So he always had to sleep with the radio on. Hmm. So yeah, both of my parents were spiritually active people. And then I also have the ability to attract other spiritual people to me where I live. For some, but you literally have to have like somebody else who is highly... Like if you had Scarlet look into your soul, they could tell you. Me? Or if you had like another like spiritual person that you're really close to do that, they can do so as well. I can look into souls? What? Yeah. Uh, it would have to cause, you would have to be in the same room as somebody. But for me, you can grab somebody like it has to require physical touch okay 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 willingly physical touch and you have to have an okay to do so i'm i'm all about consent you don't have to worry on about that i'm all about consent my cousin tried to do like a love reading on me on like with her tarot cards and i was pissed off when i heard about that Because it's an extremely private thing for a lot of people. Yes. To do so that's why I'm just like, like, by myself a lot of times. Times because I don't want to do that 
to people. But yeah, but a lot of people come from him. That's interesting. But I also tend to, even to this day, because of how my family was, they believed in. We had this one specific item that we always hanged up at every time we moved into a new place. It was a uh, cocoa pebble that we got in Arizona. And it brought our family good fortune, good luck. Luck, and we all cared about each other. We never really had any bad disagreements. Until one time where we didn't hang it up first, I started doing horribly in school and everything like that. And everybody started getting mad at each other for different reasons. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And my folks were all like very into like spirituality and stuff like that. They were open to any type of spiritual awakening or phenomenon. I kind of, I'm, I'm I'm like I'm like envious because my family isn't spiritual. So you had to learn all this stuff on your own. Then. Yeah, I had to I had to learn this on my own. Well, not technically on my own. I learned alongside my sister and two of my cousins. Um, but we all started at the same time. Uh, my cousin and I, we've always been sensitive to the supernatural, to spirits. But only like a couple years ago, we started to do practice 